In this video, I have a 97 Chevy Astro. We're going to be removing the fan. We're also doing another video where we're replacing the crankshaft seal. So let me take you over here and show you just specifically on how to remove the fan clutch, what tools you need to use. Let's take you over here and show you what's up. All right, our first step, we need to remove the air box, the fan shroud, the fan, which you can't see down here. To get to that bottom pulley, we can't actually do it from underneath. Uh, we just can't get the impact in, wrench in there to do that. So let's go ahead and get started on this. All right, we're just gonna pop this loose. And right back here, you have a standard screwdriver. So we're just gonna undo that and take this case off. All right, now we got some WD-40. We're just gonna spray in here. Let's spray on this little rubber grommet. Also over here and in here. I just helped so we can pull this piece off. So take a little screwdriver, kind of pry it up. And if you don't use that WD-40, you might actually break these tabs or the rubber pieces may break. So I've just found it's easier just to spray it WD-40. That way they pop off freely. So you don't break anything. There you go. Now we have four bolts. There's a 10 millimeter right down here. You guys can see it. There's another one right there. Come over here. There's another one down there. And another one right down there. Don't know if you guys can see those on camera, but I'm gonna hold on and remove those. Now I got those four bolts out. It's gonna take a little bit of finagling. You gotta move the heater hose out of the way, kind of finagle it up, but it should just split in half. Actually, it looks like there are three more 10 millimeters. One here, one here, and one here. So I'm gonna remove those and then I'm gonna pull it out. Now that I got the bolts removed, it's just a good idea to spray them with a little WD-40 just so they're easy to go back in. Let them just kind of sit for a little bit. This is all the tools you need. This is actually a Ford fan clutch wrench. This will work for a Chevy truck. This will work for an Astro van. It'll work for Dodge. And it'll also work for a Ford. And it comes with this other little adapter here. I'm just gonna use some vice grips. And then this piece right here for the half inch drive actually goes right here. And you can use it in this one too for leverage. And that's really all the tools you need. Okay, so I have my tool installed. And all I gotta do, I've got my extension in there. I've got my wrench down there. And what I'm gonna do is just take my hammer and just get a couple good blows and break it loose. Okay, so what I did is I have a vice grip that I put on this 10 millimeter bolt that's on the water pump. I have the actual fan pulley tool that I just showed you right here and all you gotta do is just pull them together and it's as easy as that. Then just pull out your tool and then just spin it off. Make sure you hold the fan so it doesn't fall into the radiator. Just like that. All right, really simple, really easy. Just need to make sure you have the right tool to do this job. Uh, we also got another video where we're replacing the crankshaft seal that goes around the timing cover. So you can kind of look for the links down below on that one. And uh, please rate, subscribe, and comment. And we'll see you guys next week.